You know what I feel like doing? Relaxing with an invincible character. And let's go at super fast to Astral Stair. Abyss Foscari? Who knows? I just want to get it done fast because this character is invincible. There's nothing that could be a real video here. So, uh, that country. Yep. Just gonna sit here and be invincible. Weapon selection. I don't want no weapon selection. I don't want no levels. Well, just Brave Story. I forgot to turn off Brave Story. <laughs> oh well. Brilliant, huh? Oh well. While this is going on, I will do other stuff because, well, it's a no move challenge that I already moved from, but it doesn't matter. It's invincible. You win automatically with this character. Why am I bothering with it? I should have just skipped it and done it at, like the end game thing. Uh, no, like what I planned for the Molise video. One big Molise video with everyone. All right, stages. Good old stages. Country's 20 minutes. Is anything 15? Boss Rash and. No, uh, well, that's it. Huh. Well, that explains things. No oh, way. Green Acres. Yeah, I went Boss Rash into Bone Zone. Bone Zone's 30 minutes. Oh, Bone Zone increases enemy health and speed. That explains a lot. Oh, let's see. Only 15 minute stages are Moon Glow and Boss Rash. All oh, the DLC levels are 30. Oh, why did I think Bat Country was 15? I, mean, I suppose it doesn't really make much sense for it to be 20. It's a bunch of bats. Destructible chances one. Max 50 with luck. What does that even mean? Oh, there's an experience malice here? Huh. Oh, they gained health 0.2. What does that mean? Like 2 or 20. Okay, yeah, uh, two, it's 20%. I think, I don't know, I'm tired. It's super duper late for me, which means the sun is glaring and I should not be up. In fact, it's entirely possible that this video will not be processed before it's posted in 4K. That's why I'm going with the short levels, completely out of the bezel corner, because I can. I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm invincible. It doesn't matter. How are you doing, random thing? Megalomaniac moon spell. Why does this character exist? Why do you have health anyway?
Oh, we can get double one away poacher. Megalomania. Maybe we should get some sands in here. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. How would Undertale characters work in Vampire Survivors? That's gotta be comedy gold, right? I am recording. The audio is, well, not good, but it's audible. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the Vampire Survivors Peswick. I might have other things planned eventually. I don't know. I've messed up really badly the last few days. Shorts. Hundred. Why is this? That's weird. This is the perfect time to do other things that aren't vampire survivors. But I won't. Anyway, I've cut down the whatchamacallit. The intro down. So give me a holler if you think that's better or worse. I don't know, I can barely read how metrics work. I can barely read it all. Four minutes in, eh? I don't even know what that means anymore. Like I said, I'm really tired. The sun is very painful. I should really just close the curtain. But I'm not. Heck, I'm not even looking out the window right now. I'm looking at the computer screen. What's that OBS? You're probably gonna crash randomly. No oh, OBS, you're so silly. Wait, why did I get a chest? Aw. I was looking at the screen, but I was looking at OBS. <laughs> hey, Room Tracer, how's it going? Oh, I'm surprised it hasn't. Level three, wow. I guess all, all the bats getting in close aren't dropping anything anymore. It's all concentrated in some big red gem on the perimeter. Hmm. Probably just gonna name this being no move non-challenge because it's invincible. Non-challenge. No move non-challenge. There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's get that written up ahead of time so I actually remember instead of forgetting it. What's that? No move non challenge. Yep, that makes perfect sense. So not. Driver is Beswick. 135. Why did I say 135? I'm literally saying at 131. with that country and Moongro, yeah. Taping well recording the livest of content. That makes a completely weird title video thing. Country and 
moon, you know. Man, this is weird. No. Uh -oh. Back country, back country, save us all. Oh, well, I'm not gonna fit it in. Did I get a gold fever? Wow. Wow, all of level six, not bad. She really kept him away from her body. Hi, Death. Only Death can stop the Invincible. 3.5 million on nothing interesting. Well, that's Megalomania 1 done. Stay tuned for the second. We're going over to Moonglow. Oops, I forgot to go back to the main menu. But I'm over to Moonglow. Because, well, random. And this time I am officially not moving instead of just not moving in spirit. Oh no, I'm level 2. That will clearly stop everything. Wait. Oh, wait. Did I ran him in a candy box. I don't know. What? I did. I didn't even notice. I have played Megalo. Where did that come from? Oh, one plus one clover, not plus one luck. Weird. Give me all of seven thirty. This is probably going to end up being the shortest video because I specifically want it to be the shortest video. Oh, hey, nice land. I'm lucky there. Oh no, it's a bunch of snakes. Oh, it's already higher level than back country. It can only go up from here. Oh. Huh. The masks from the Atlanteans are shooting off of the merchant. I never paid attention to that before, huh? What is that? Is that many as... No. She shouldn't have. Okay, it's kind of funny having the Laurel on a character that's already invincible. But no, that was either random event firing off a Rosary effect, or the Rosary effect that comes when she goes Megalo. She's permanent Megalo. Is that still carried over from regular? Go away, crap battle. Yeah, I want to deal with you, crab battle. Yeah, it doesn't even trigger the laurel. Hey, a crown, nice. Uh oh, I'm hitting A. Skip you. Oh boy, laurel level 2. That'll save me for sure. fix my sleep schedule with the rising tide and somehow it's worse than ever. It's actually impressive how bad it's about to be. Oh boy.
Not bad. That's the price I paid for being lazy. Lazy. Look, there's very little to talk about when the character is invincible. And there's no enemies on screen that is actually doing anything. I mean, at least with Pepino, you can make commentary. Or you could look, oh, am I getting closer? I'm getting closer. Or Poe. You know, same thing. But there's nothing but a victory waiting here. Which is nice when you're desperate for time. Like I am today. So maybe I'll actually get a video out. And, you know, double digits before it's due. So anyway, thanks for watching, or at least I hope you're watching. If you are, well, I said thanks, but double thanks, triple thanks, quadruple thanks. Hey, look, I get it. I don't comment in videos as much as I should either. You know, I wouldn't even say it's strange. It's just. For my personality, there's a lot, not a lot I have to say about things. And yet I'm doing a video commentary and live streaming. Well, at least in most of these cases I have things to actually react to. Like getting my butt kicked by Leviathan in Final Fantasy 16. Because oh boy, that DPS check was way too tight. I don't think there was any person who could have done that on the first try. Now with how it was set up. Man, crab battle, you're gonna give me more. Really? Another triple chest. Well, I guess I did get a well, lucky clover. And I got some for more animal bennet. That swarm. Where the heck are even the enemies at? What is going on? This is strange. No, Munglo isn't exactly overthrowing with the bad guys. But two bosses are the pots causing an issue? Like, the pots, they count as an enemy. And there's a cap to how many enemies can be on screen. Now that I think about it, I probably should have renamed Val Gallo's video of pacifism, the pacifism challenge success. Hmm. Oh, so there's four bosses of these plant things. And they're sort of Venus fly trappy. Or heck, maybe there's... Why was that one that dropped the Arcana chest? Is there really only one Arcana chest here? You'd think the purple one would drop it. And it's the Mini Atlanteans. Wait, I guess they're called the Guardians here. Oh, I don't know. Huh. City Atlanteans don't have red cloaks, they have the darker cloaks. Volcano one does have the bright red cloak though. Huh, I never noticed that before. They don't notice a lot of things. Do you notice how death just took me out? Wow, 122 damage. Very strange run. But there's the inevitable victory coming from Megalomania. Thanks for watching for like the 85th time this video. You know, I actually looked at it before I started to confirm that Megalomania hadn't already beaten it. What she had, well, well. At least Moonglow was fine. Uh, 
190. This is going to make for a very short video. I really should just add on another, but I am very tired right now.